It's all yours, Jeff. Go ahead. Okay, we're going to uh, burn a second nitrate burn from the one we did before. Uh, this is a little older nitrate film uh, from the movie Corpse in the Morgue, a mid-30s film. Uh, we're going to first set off a little piece of it that we've torn off here up front to show how fast it burns. And then we're going to set off a entire 20-minute reel, reel two of the film, uh, burning from the inside out. It's tightly wound on a core. And because it's compressed and tightly wound, it will attempt to burn and get rid of the gas very quickly. If it's, if it's deteriorating enough on the nitrate, it will force itself up in a very fast burning flame. If not, it'll burn like the previous nitrate burn we did in a large uh, bonfire type. Uh, this film is not a lost film, so don't worry, we're not burning something that's irreplaceable. Uh, they have the original camera negative. This print is full of splices and it is nitrate and it is deteriorating. So it will have to be either burned or junked or gotten rid of. So it's going to a good purpose for this demonstration. Gonna do the small piece first? We're gonna do the small piece first. And we're just gonna see how fast it will burn just in an open piece. Last time we also burned safety film to compare the two. The safety film didn't burn at all. The nitrate is burning. Some of the nitrate areas in the print actually have an oily film which is oozed out of the stock and that oil tends to burn faster than the other film. So, that's about like the film stock we burned the first time. We're gonna now try and burn this. There is also a portion of the end of this reel which is not Eastman nitrate uh, uh, is not Kodak nitrate from 1938 it is Agfa Gaviart which Gaviart did not uh, delineate whether they had safety or nitrate it is from the 1930s so I don't know whether this area near the end this discolored area is nitrate film or diacetate uh, safety stock from the 30s if it's diacetate, the burn should stop when it gets to it. If it's uh, nitrate, Agfa Gaviart, it'll burn as well. And uh, this is pre-World War II German-made uh, Agfa Gaviart stuff. So we're going to stick a piece up in the air as a fuse, and then we're going to see what happens here. All right. wind changes and blows in your direction, please do not breathe the fumes. Move around in a circle away from the direction it's going in. the direction of the smoke so it doesn't get near you because you don't want it to inhale it. There we go. There's one now. Projectionist would be up against if he had a fire in the projection booth. So you say it's about eight foot? I'd say eight or ten. It got up at least ten foot there. And nice warm heat. I'm about uh, 15 feet away it. from it and I can feel the heat good. Richard, what an effect shot, huh? And notice how it's still burning. This thing contains a lot of oxygen, a lot of fuel. A 20 minute 
Said, if the fire didn't get you, the poisonous fumes would. So, like, do not breathe the poisonous fumes, which are floating in your direction, Richard. <laughs> and if you notice, as you leave tonight, you can walk by the ashes. They still are in the form of film. If you push the ashes apart, they still have sprocket holes in the form of film. It didn't destroy the form of the film. It just burned up the essence of it. They're ashes, you can touch them and they'll fall apart into ash, but they're currently still in the circular form of the film. And you can actually see some of the sprocket holes within the film, which is amazing considering how hot that fire was. That had to be close to a thousand degrees. Yeah. Yeah. White, white and blue is very hot, yes. very hot color. Yeah, it should have been washed. <laughs> Buckled up that tin tan that we had running. That burning. That's going to have to set overnight before I touch it. <laughs> it's going to be very hot. <laughs> Thank God we have safety film today and polyester film, which won't even hold a light. But this is why they got rid of nitrate in 1949, 1950, and went to safety film. Even you can though most nitrate stored properly over all these years is stable and holds up better than some 1950 safety stock does. Uh, if it's nitrate was stored improperly in high humidity and high temperature, it deteriorates, starts secreting the oil, starts turning to mush, and then it becomes dangerous and flammable. And uh, this definitely was heading in that direction, which is why we took the time to burn it. So this is Tarantino's inspiration, right? <laughs> right. This is uh, an example of like the scene in *Inglorious Bastards*, where uh, he talks about the nitrate film and where they pile piles of it behind the screen to set the theater on fire. Which, as you can see, one real 10-foot high flame that burned for how long? Did anybody check it? Several minutes. Hot minutes. You have a pile of film like they had in the movie burning, it would have definitely burnt that theater down as quickly as it did. So that was quite realistic in Tarantino's film. <laughs> 